The warning lights are blinking red on the fascist intent of a second Trump administration. And it is not an abstract threat. There are people, Americans, who literally fear Trump's retribution, just as he loudly promises at rallies if he's reelected. One of those people is retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, a key witness in the first impeachment of Donald Trump. He flagged Trump's 2019 perfect phone call where Trump pressured the president of Ukraine to open an investigation into his chief political rival, Joe Biden. But now, as NBC News reports, Colonel Vindman's wife is so worried about Trump's return to the White House that she doesn't want to celebrate her 50th birthday next month because the family might need the money in case they have to flee the country. A country, by the way, Colonel Vindman volunteered to defend and served very hon honorably. Colonel Vindman is the former director for European Affairs for the National Security Council. He is currently a senior advisor to Vote Vets, and he joins me now. Colonel, it's so good to see you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Uh, one of the things that we hear a lot is the hyperbolic, hyperbolic if so and so is elected, right? If so and so is elected, I'm leaving the country. I'm out of here. You told NBC that you don't plan to leave, but regardless, this hyperbolic, excited state. Uh, this isn't just hyperbole for you. This is a real concern. Tell us about those family concerns that you and your wife have. Sure. Thanks, Michael. Good to see you again. Uh, well, I mean, my, my wife and I have a slight difference of opinion here. It's probably because my uh, daughter classifies me as responsible for fun, my wife responsible for uh, safety. So she thinks about, you know, the what ifs, the, the worst case scenarios. I think about you know how to keep Trump out of office, how to avoid this worst case scenario, not for me, not for the scores of other uh, folks on Trump's enemies list, but the millions of Americans that would suffer through a second administration. Uh, for, for her, it does end up being a, a real concern. She wants to she wants to understand you know what our situation would be if Donald Trump is the chief executive responsible for the IRS and directs the IRS to, to conduct uh, you know, unlawful investigations. She wants to know if he uses federal law enforcement to pursue his enemies, or if he just issues instructions mm -hmm. to his uh, sycophantic followers to uh, seek retribution against folks. For me, again, I'm laser focused on making sure that person never sees the Oval Office again. Uh, again, more so for, for the country, for me, I'm not intimidated. I'm, I'm uh, out there prepared to, to fight him. Um, but that's that's a real threat, I guess, to scores of, uh, of Americans that have have made his list. You, 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 Alex, have been very, very strong in your your view on this. Um, and in fact, you've been more than sensitive to the, the threats and the difficulties presented uh, by uh, Trump and a lot of his minions. You had a message for your father, as I recall, during your impeachment testimony. And I wanted to play just a little bit of that uh, so folks can hear what you said to your dad. Dad. My sitting here today in the U.S. Capitol talking to our elected officials is proof that you made the right decision 40 years ago to leave the Soviet Union and come here to the United States of America in search of a better life for our family. Do not worry. I'll be fine for telling the truth. And that's always the bottom line, isn't it, Colonel? Telling the truth. And you, you, you wear that badge in particular very well. Does all of this uh, that's going on now and the elevation of this are those concerns still there for your dad and other family members? And what do you say to them? Not just the conversations you have with your wife and, and your immediate family, but your family and friends who are also concerned about you. I think there are concerns. Um, my, my dad, of course, is, is still concerned. He's turning 92 this year. Uh, he's very clear eyed about um, what the, the, the kind of leadership that he experienced uh, in the Soviet Union and how that could manifest here in the United States. For me, uh, what I try to do is I try to raise the alarm, and this is this should sound alarming to the American public. The threat of a, of MAGA, the th threat of Trump, is real. It is not a threat in the distant future, in November, or if he gets seated again in January. Donald Trump invited Vladimir Putin to attack NATO. I would say that, that that probably was a contributing factor in the calculus around the assassination of Navalny. Mm -hmm. this, these uh, stories now coming out of Moldova 
and the, the, the idea of a referendum in that country to join the, the Russian Federation, that is a, a testing of the waters. That is a, a signal that Russia is uh, ready to be more aggressive because it senses it has a sense of impunity. Why? Because Trump is not just the uh, likely Republican nominee. He is the head of the Republican Party. He issues marching orders to uh, Speaker Johnson. He issues marching orders to this, this radical uh, MAGA uh, political establishment that is now the Republican House. And that signals that uh, absolute paralysis, not passing Ukraine aid, not taking severe actions against uh, Putin and his uh, uh, his regime, that's a signal to either, it's an invitation is what, the way Putin sees it. So that's what I really contend with on a regular basis. That's what I want to make sure the American public is is aware of. So like this, we don't have a second Trump administration. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, uh, your words uh, are a sharp reminder, particularly as we recognize that we're going into the second year uh, of this invasion by Russia and Ukraine and appreciate your service uh, then and your service now.